Mano. everybody this is organic dairyman and uh, yeah I hope everybody had a good day today or you're having a good day so far yeah anyways as you saw in the beginning of the video we um, we went down and checked the uh, cornfield that we were harvesting on just to see it in the daylight to see how much we exactly had left and it looks like it looks like we had about about half the field you know left to combine so yeah, yeah I always wanted to see that I had to go down there and get my pickup truck that was sitting down there from the uh, from the other day and um, yeah so that's kind of um kind of what the deal was so we had to go down as long as we were gonna go down there and um, get my truck we thought we would just uh, look at the corn so yeah, so anyways, yeah, um, yeah, and uh, speaking of how um, my, or how everyone's day is going, yeah, my day or didn't exactly start out the best today. Um, anyways, this morning, um, when uh, I came out, like I always do, check, in, check on the dry cows, or the, the dry cow shed in there. Anyways, that one bread heifer that I, I showed you guys the other day that was getting close to do well, um, it turns out that she calved this morning. I don't know what time it was, but I'm assuming it was probably about five in the morning. I, I just have to estimate. But anyways, they came out and uh, here the calf was dead that she had. And it was also, you know, to add insult to injury, it was a heifer calf. And yes, it was cold out last night, but no, the calf did not die from the cold. I think what happened is when I found the calf laying there, the heifer wasn't obviously in there. Um, she had it licked off pretty good, but the problem was, um, I think the head was kind of kinked back and I don't know if the calf could breathe. So probably what happened, the heifer was, you know, of course she's a heifer, a fresh heifer, and she uh, was inexperienced. She didn't get the calf licked off right away after she calved. And I think that the calf just, um, he just couldn't breathe and she didn't roll the calf around. Um, obviously, um, you know, sometimes when they're close, we'll get up during the night and we'll go and check on them and make sure they calf. But sometimes, you know, you get up at three in the morning, you go out and check on them and they don't do anything. They can calf two hours after you, you go back to bed. So, I don't know, sometimes I think what we need to do is invest in a, um, 
one of those things you put on their tail head. It's a device that will alert you. It sends a text message to your phone. Like if they start calving, somehow it's able to sense when they're calving. I don't know how it works, but I, I, I've heard of people using those. And um, that would probably be the best thing to have. Otherwise you can put up a, like cameras, like in the dry cow shed, we can put up cameras in there too. But, um, but then again, you have to wake up, you know, to check on your camera. If you're asleep and you don't see it, at least this thing, it sends a text message to your phone. If you have your phone close by, you'll get it here. It's going to wake you up. And you're going to say, boy, I better get up there and check, you know. But, um, yeah. So, anyways, then to, to top that off, um, we, we milked all the other cows first. And we got her in last. And she was kind of a little bit ornery about coming into the barn. <laughs> and so, um... Yeah, so she decided to jump over a fence and she smashed the fence down and then on top of that she got into where the you know where she jumped over is where we feed the dry cows and she broke part of the fence line feeder. She thought she had to try to climb up into that. Oh, needless to say, um, we weren't too happy with her. But we got her in the barn, we got her milk and stuff, but yeah. So that was kind of how our morning started out. Uh, it wasn't the best uh, morning I've had lately, but <laughs> it is what it is, I guess. Um, you lose calves, it happens. You can't be everywhere all the time to, uh, you know, and then, yeah, we got going with the feeding chores later. Just because of that uh, calf. Yeah, so yeah, I just thought I'd give you guys an update. You know, I know this is probably it's gonna be a shorter video, but I just, you know, a shorter video than what you're used to, but um, I just wanted to give you guys an update on what's going on around the farm here today. Show you a little bit of stuff. And um, yeah. Not every day is, is a walk in the park, it's not peaches and cream, but um, yeah, it is what it is, and like I can say, not every day is perfect. That's, that's what makes farming what it is. So, um, yes, we lost the calf. Uh, we've had it happen before, but like it's, you know, it could be worse. That heifer, she could have, uh, she could have had a terrible time calving. It could have been a great big, huge bull calf she was trying to have. She could have paralyzed herself. She could have prolapsed, you know, pushed out her uterus, and not be able to get up and walk. I mean. We've had that happen before. We've had that happen where heifers, you know, heifers calf and they they had a uh, pitched a nerve, they couldn't get up and walk, and on top of that they prolapsed. We've had it happen. On top of that, we've had to put put the heifer down, um, you know, euthanize them, and I mean, it's kind of one of those things where if, if you knew that, if I knew that you know, you knew that an animal was and a uh, fresh heifer was going to do that. Well, I would have just taken her and sold her on a, taken her to a, a dairy, a special dairy sale, and sold her as a you know, spring and heifer, and maybe got thousand, twelve hundred bucks for her. You know, but like I say, hindsight is twenty twenty. You don't always know. You know, you don't have a crystal ball. It's you take a chance. You know, obviously, we always try to breed the bred heifers for calving ease, so. We don't have issues with that. But so goes life, you know, that's the way it is. But anyways, um, yeah, we're I'm loading up the feeder wagon here for the milk cows. Last thing we gotta feed for the day. And um, as you can see it's a winter wonderland here. 
we got, I don't know, probably four inches, of, five inches of snow yesterday, and at least the sun is shining, so it's not a dark, gloomy day, and things are going to get better. We're hope, hopefully we're going to get the corn. Probably maybe Monday, Tuesday, we're going to go back and start combining the corn again. Um, I just don't think it's going to happen tomorrow. Um, just don't think maybe tomorrow is Sunday and we've got to go to church in the morning. And yeah, so I, I don't know. Probably won't get to it tomorrow. I guess you just gotta count your blessings, take it a day at a time, and get there. Um, if farming was easy, everybody would be doing it. Would be doing it. You know? I mean, especially dairy farming, it's not an easy thing to do. Um, we don't get we don't get our weekends off. We don't get holidays off. We work 365 days a year, and sometimes <laughs> you wonder why you do it. I've had other people ask us sometimes, how do you guys do it? I said, well, I don't know how I do it. I just know that I have to do it to pay all the bills, <laughs> put food on the table, you know? I just, you know, do what you gotta do, but. Anyways, um, I think that's it for this video. I'm running at about 10 minutes, so. So I just thought I'd give you guys an update, and uh, I don't know if I'm gonna do a video, if, make a video tomorrow, so if, if there's something interesting that happens, I, I will do a video. I always take my camera outside with me every day just in case there's something to capture and um, yeah so um, I will probably see you guys like I say unless there's something interesting happens or I you know feel compelled to make a video tomorrow for some for some do some weird thing you know I will um, I'll, I'll put out a video if not I'll see you guys on Tuesday so and I also want to say um, uh, with regards to the comments if for some reason I don't get to answer your comment right away um, don't think that I'm ignoring you or didn't like your comment or anything I'm, I'm pretty busy a lot of the time and I answer most of my comments I do it on my phone I get a spare moment I um, I go in there and I, I check it and I answer it so um, yeah so don't think I'm ignoring you and if for some reason I didn't answer your question by all means um, write it again and I'll try to get get to it um, so I just wanted to get that out there get that off my chest so yeah so anyways um, I gotta go here so so uh, anyways, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, drop it down in the comment section below and I'll do my best to get respond back to it. And um, yeah, so and please hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet. Um, share this, share it with your friends and fam family. And you know, anybody that you know that wants to would be interested in watching my videos let them know and um, yeah so thanks everybody for watching this video and I want to let all of you know that I do appreciate each and every one of you all your subscriptions all your views and everything I appreciate all of it um, and you know you all help me get to a thousand subscribers um, I never imagined you know in my wildest dreams that anybody would I'd get a thousand people that want to watch my videos. But I guess sometimes you don't know until you try something where it's gonna go, what's gonna happen. So, so I appreciate it very much. And um, so, in if I don't 
you don't hear anything from see any, see a video on Monday I'll see you on Tuesday thanks again everybody for watching and I will catch you later